Welcome to Trading Lounge and the Australian Report for Tuesday, September 6. And as you know, the uh, US markets were closed last night, so a bit of low volume everywhere. Um, but let's just go over things again. So in the bigger picture on the daily chart here, there's two things that can happen. We can either have this from the top here, we can have this as an A wave up here, a B wave up here, with an A, B and C wave up here for this, and then come down from that point. Um, so what we're looking for for that to occur, we're looking for another little tiny five waves to come down into the box here, and then it's got the possibility of turning to the upside. I'm not saying that it, that it will, um, but we need to monitor that, that, um, that uh, situation uh, carefully. The other point is that it can come straight down. Now, obviously, things don't always go in a straight line, so we'll need to understand the wave count uh, as well. And um, yeah, work that uh, lower in that case. So we, there's a bit of work to do in this little area here for that. Um, but these will be the two two pathways um, lower in at some point. Um, yeah, so uh, I guess... I suppose that will give us the recession everybody's talking about. Um, so, um, and the other little point here too, we can't really count this up as one and two here anymore and three here because wave four here has come back and overlapping <coughs> wave A or wave one at that point. So, uh, so that puts it out. So that kind of, you know, forces us to see that this is corrective at this, at this stage. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it would be nice if it goes up here because then it's a chance for everybody to kind of get out of long-term long-term you know positions or or look to hedge their portfolios and all those sorts of things. Um, but otherwise, you know, um, we'll need to go through this situation, which can bring us down into this box here. So. Uh, it's quite a way down, you know. Um, so yeah, but anyway, let's just drill in and see what we've got in this little area. So if it does go down through here, then we'll need to look at this as one and two rather than ABC pattern here. There's a good case across the globe for both of, for both of these counts, so I can't really choose just yet. I'll, I'll need to just wait for the evidence within, you know, counting these waves down until we get to the end of them. So let's just get, move in and just talk about that a little bit more. So I was thinking that we're looking for the A wave, the B wave, and then down here is one, two, three, four, five coming down into here. So we're looking for five more little waves down here. And the thing here is that the US markets were um, closed last night, uh, last session. So uh, our market just sort of drifted uh, wherever it needed to do, but it didn't make a new high here or anything like that. Um, so we're still looking at this as wave one here and two here, and we'll compare that to what the US has done. Um, but uh, might need to put, I suppose we could put um, wave two up there, or in the bigger picture, I'll just give it a bit of thought, all this move down through here, we could probably still a little bit light on with all of that. Just wondering if we need to put wave one down here and then wave two back up here in this space. It'll just be something that we'll just sort of mull over a little bit. I'll just um, I'll sort that out and We've got to kind of compare this to China, which I was just having a bit of a look at actually with, um, this is, I'll just get this into the frame here a little bit. Um, this is the Shanghai. Uh, I'll just want to check on the Shenzhen as well. This is a better pattern here for that. So we've got that sharp move down here as well for the Shenzhen. Um, but this, I mean, this looks corrective to me, do you know, in the bigger picture. So <clears throat> let me just have a look at this here. We're right on the 61.8% here for that. I mean, the top 50 companies, um, like you might see on IG markets or something like that, they're all in a pretty weak position. I mean, they're all being sort of hammered. Um, There's a good case for five waves up here. If I, I'm not sure about this little guy here, but probably one and two or something, but I was thinking one, two, three, four, five here for wave one, 
um, and then one, two, three, four, five, the third wave, fourth wave, fifth wave, or you could go uh, one, uh, um, just one and two here, then one, two, th one, two, three, four, five. So I have to put a bit of a bit of um, <clears throat> effort into that. So I'll just I'll need to check on that. But this looks pretty impulsive, whichever way we look at it. So I wonder if we get like an A wave, a B wave, and a C wave coming back here and then going up. That's kind of what I'm sort of thinking, you know, because obviously, you know, we're we're selling a lot of stuff to China. Um, so. Unless that spike doesn't need to be there, and this is one, two, three, three, four, and five. There's a bit of overlap here, so that doesn't make it right. Anyway, I'll um, I'll just I'll, I'll start to have a look at China a little bit and see where what their situation is, um, and the Hang Seng, and I'll have a bit of a look around. Um, so yeah, so far as I can see this here, we should be, there might be one more little high in here, but we need to come down as three, four and five down here for this. So as mentioned, probably the six, seven would be, um, be about right. And we can put wave B here and I'll read, look at all of this. I'll see how we can get a bigger bearish picture out of this. But the reason I'm using this last five waves down here is because that's what I've got with um, US stocks and Apple and all the rest of them and the, indice, the rest of the indices. Um, let's just go to the hourly chart here. So <clears throat> yesterday when we spoke, we were looking down for wave one and then we were looking back for um, to the box of 50-60% retracement level, which is probably around here somewhere, um, just at a guess. But... Um, so it just drifted up because the US is on holiday. So um, this is what the US has done uh, in the futures market in the off hours. I think we're about here. So the US market's done this, uh, been across here. So I'm thinking that we've got a bit of an odd thing here, but one, two, three, four here and five here for the A wave and A, B and C here for the B wave here and then up here for the C wave. Now, I'm not sure if that C wave's finished and it hasn't pulled back up to uh, to to its box, basically up here somewhere. So it could move up a little bit further, but do we have five waves in here? Um, that looks like one, two, three, four, five, four, one and two, one, two, probably, you could probably look at all of that as wave three. If this, I mean, we could also finish it off as one, two, three, four, five and be finished here. But this would be the 38.2% retracement level or or roughly the wave four of one lesser degree. So what I was thinking, if this here becomes, there'll be a bounce off that, of course. If that becomes the retested resistance here, then you'll know that the market's going to go down from that point. OK, so then you can go short from there. Otherwise, we'll get some sort of, you know, movement here and then one more move to the upside and then down from that and then down from that point so it'll be one two three coming back for four here even though it's overlapping uh, and five and then go down here so it'll be something like that but that's that's that sort of that's where that is at the moment i don't think this is going to be one and two here and then three four five it could be but um there should be some yeah i don't know can that be can that happen can we do that can we look at this as one and two and three, four and five? I mean, shit, anything's possible, isn't it? You just have to be clear that it's gone. See, when we have a look at the Australian one over here, um, there can be, you go to 100 ticks, there can be one more little push to the upside here. Um, <clears throat> so we can look at this here as, um, I'll just remove that. I'm not sure if that made a new low there on the cash, but it looks like one, two, three, four, five, a bit of a dodgy thing here, and then an ABC here. So here, we're, if we look at this as the A, the B, and the C here, then we'd have to look at this as one and two here, right? As one and two in here. Then one, two, three, four, and f somewhere in here, we'd have to look at this as one, two, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we'd have to look at that as the third wave there somehow. And, but this one here is, 
I think we're still, it looks like we're one sort of still, even I look at this last little bit here, even though I need to get my head around that a bit more, but even when I look at this here, it's kind of like we're from this point, we can see that we've got this move up here, and then we've got that move. Um, but even if we sort of ignore that a bit and look at that little five waves, we're still basically one wave short here as well. So I think that what we can do is we can bring this up to here now and look to short if that becomes the retested resistance at this point. So the 6840 area, 68, you could probably do the 6850, but definitely the 6840. So you're looking for a pattern like um, like this here on the downside. So you need through the, if this is 50 or 40, you need the market through that, come back up and check it and then short at that point, okay? So that would be a reasonable way through at that point. You need this to, you know, you need to see this basically somehow sort of collapse a little bit, you know? Um, so just be careful, there can be one more sort of move up there. As I mentioned yesterday, I mean, this if this goes any higher, it could be part of wave four. That's another point too. But we did get that nice sort of impulse wave down here. And we can call this, definitely can call this corrective here. As I mentioned yesterday, uh, we got five waves in this move here and nice B wave here. So we came down and took out the B wave here. So for this move here forces this move here to be in three waves. That's technically forced it to be that. So that makes it as from a low, that makes it as that makes it a corrective rally. So at some point we're going to be taking that low out here and that's what we were looking at this as wave three. So the only mistake that I could make would be putting this over here, but that would make that as a B wave here. So even if we do make, let's just say we make a new high here then don't trust that high to be bullish because it'll be something like one, two, three, four, and uh, five up here. And when one, it'll still be some, be five up here and then drop at that point. You know what I mean? If I've made a mistake, if there's some sort of this other little low if we were made here, if we made some sort of A, B, C here for like to, to finish this off as, a, as an A, B, and C here, some weird thing. So if it does take that stop out here, don't be inclined to be very careful about, you know, thinking that it's bullish because it will trap you at that point, I think. So anyway, um, <clears throat> yeah, as I mentioned yesterday, it's a pretty spiky, gnarly sort of uh, market, this ASX 200. So you've got to be a little bit careful, you know, it's, um, you know, <laughs> there's a, the retailers get, get, get pushed out by the, uh, the wholesalers. It's such a small market. Um, so always, I always call it the poker table in Sydney. <laughs> um, so there's always somebody, there's always somebody dealing on it, somebody controlling it in one way or another for the day. Morgan's or somebody, I don't know who it is now. Used to be broker one at one stage. I mean, they've all, they always changes. They went bankrupt, did they? Um, that's why you never trade with a company that does trading themselves. You just want a company that does the brokeraging. And if they trade by themselves, you want to be, uh, you want to be taking the 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 uh the, the first exit sign you see because <clears throat> they're the ones that go bankrupt all the time especially the smaller ones you know i mean so many of them i've seen over the years just use client funds you know dipping into it for a day or two it's crazy um, i mean that's been that's been outlawed a little bit but um still happens in the crypto market obviously unregulated um anyway the, uh sorry for waffling so yeah Basically, you just kind of want to make, you know, see, see something like this here, that sort of sharp move down. If you can sort of see that anywhere along the pathway here and then and then use that load, you know, or use that load, you know, try to find, that's what we're kind of looking for in a way, you know. <clears throat> okay, so um, let's move on. Now with CBA here, we're also looking for a little five waves down as well. Um, I'm putting wave four over here now for that. So, um, and putting this over here for this. It is possible for it to come down further, but once, it, like I said, with the um, with um, the ASX and uh, the other global markets, we can get one more move over here and then down again for that. So I just got to, I'm just, I just want to be careful about that, you know. In this case here, we could probably look at this um, in terms of 
a wave one here and then a wave two coming back here if we were going to come down here further. So that's something that we will be, be looking at. You would think that the banks, you know, they're pretty heavy. I don't, don't know the exact figures and it's not my expertise, but it's pretty obvious obvious that they're into the property market in in some in uh in, at some degree of their book and uh with interest rates going up that could be good for them but um at the same time the property market um you know <clears throat> slowing so uh you'd think they would come down you'd think it's a good time to short the banks wouldn't you i mean fundamentally speaking i mean i'm not a fundamental uh expert or anything but um yeah i mean sometimes things just you know become pretty obvious so fortescued here um you know when we look at this move over here you'd think that we would get something of the same ilk uh roughly over here with that you know somewhere down into the ten dollar mark or something some sort of thing here now in here i've counted this here as 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 an a wave up here and then an a and a b and well an a b c for the b an a and a b and then a c for the b wave here and coming down for the c wave now i just don't know how far this is going to come down here um so i just want to be a little bit careful about that and also too it's possible that um i mean this can be counted a bit different on on Rio, for example. So with Rio here, I've got this B wave up here. We've got the same thing coming down here. Then we've got the B wave up here, but I can't count it the same. I've got to count it differently. So I've always counted it as one here, an A wave, a B wave, and a C wave for two, then down for three and four here, and then finishing down here <clears throat> as one, two, three, four, five down here. You know, so this would be the low at this point. So this is going to be really quite sort of um, interesting once this finishes off here, isn't it? You know, we'll, we, we, could, we might see the banks go down and the resources go up at that point, you know, because they're always flip-flopping around more than I am, you know. Um, so that could be kind of interesting. And uh, that would kind of also line up with, with iron ore to a point as well. Um, if I look at um, iron ore just for a second over here let me just go to this iron ore this is the Singapore iron ore um, seaborne so in this one here we're kind of looking at this as well it's kind of as an A wave and a B wave it's rallied back up to the 50 60 percent and <coughs> and then I've, I have labeled this this morning so um, but as one and two here, one, two, three, four, and five here for third wave. So basically, I'm not sure if this is finished yet, but it has made a new low here. And you can kind of see five waves here. I haven't really pulled it apart. But if we do see that push up here, then we'll have wave four and wave five here. And that could be the end of it at that point, you know. So that's a good thing, isn't it? You know, that kind of matches up with, um, if I can just go back to... Um, to this kind of matches up with Rio finishing off here as well and this is also the same for um, for, for BHP as well so with BHP um, I've been looking at this as an A wave a B wave and then one two three four and five so finishing off down here as well for that it was interesting it was pointed out to me by Mike and thanks for that that it does seem that um, be, for some reason, if anybody knows, can you let me know? I was sort of diving into, but we Mike has noticed that um, the BHP that I'm using on IG Markets here, this is IG Markets Pro Real Time, and the Pro Real Time is a French company, um, but it's using IG data. And um, I mean, I kind of like, as I like, I've, I've always liked this program, it's been sort of easy to work, but um, so the thing is, is that with BHP here, when I go and have a look at um, big charts and Yahoo data, it's the same as this. We're above the, let's just, as a reference point, we're above the $50 here. Um, but on Comsec and uh, TradingView, they're a little bit different. So this one here is just the Trading Levels Charting Program. Um, so with this one here, I'm just going to put in BHP here. And 
the thing here with this one is that you can see that the high here is at $48 and not above the $50 here. So if I put in a major trading level there somewhere, you'll see that occur. I can do that. So you can see that it's at $48 here um, rather than here it's above the $50 here. So I, I'm not sure why I don't think BHP's done a stock split, stock split and some people of some companies have um, changed it and some haven't. Um, but if anybody's got an answer for that, that would be fantastic. Um, but yeah, anyway, I just think that it's kind of looking around the block a little bit. It's kind of interesting that um, as an A wave, a B wave and a C wave here, I think that's looking really quite good. So we could have a good buying opportunity for the resources, I'm, I'm thinking, you know. Um, yeah, uh, this is just china iron ore i won't go into that today i just wanted to do the other thing but also what i wanted to do here is just also have a look um at the um the lithium again the market the lithium market <clears throat> and i just wanted to be a little bit sort of I mean I've got this here mineral resources here I can count five waves up here it has made a new high but we've got to work out is that a fifth wave and that's the end of it do you know what I mean is this some sort of that's the top of a third wave and then an A wave a B wave and a C wave here and a nice five wave and then we've got wave five here so we've got wave three four five and then four here and then five here as a bit of a top here because when I look at this, I was looking at it just, I'm just shooting the breeze here. I was looking at it on a monthly chart here, for example. Um, don't worry about the labeling, it's just sort of starting to put it together. But um, <clears throat> we can see that apart from, apart from this here, where it started here, I'll need to do all work on that to find out if it's a series of ones and twos and that. But we definitely got some sort of wave three here, haven't we, in this strong move to the upside here. So we've probably got um, that wave three could probably sit here and that wave four could sit here. Um, so are we gonna go up here further with this? Is that, how does that, sort of you know configure here i need to do a bit of i'm wondering if we're at the top of the market here you know because we're all thinking that we're at the beginning of the market so i'm wondering if we're going to get something that you know might even if this is wave one here and wave two we could get uh three four and five up here and then come down for you know a lot it, it just seems that somewhere up here where where, 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 you know, when I start, when I see a big trend like this, and then I start seeing overlapping wave structures, I know that I'm at the top here. Like, this kind of reminds me of Bitcoin at 65,000, and this is $60 here, 65, which is a medium level at this point as well. Um, so at 65 here, so that will be kind of interesting at that point. <coughs> um, 65 is a fantastic number. It doesn't matter if you're trading penny stocks at 65 cents or a stock at six dollars fifty or 65 dollars it's it's a it's it's a funny old number but you know this is the same thing we've seen in bitcoin so it was the same thing we're kind of seeing you know the market having overlapping wave structures so it's definitely in you know at, at some sort of top in this area here and even when i look at ig um uh igo here um it's kind of the same thing as well. Now we've seen a nice, um, we've, we've seen, you know, it's had its building process and its building process here. I can see that the market still needs to go up further. You know, I, there's no problem with this long term up at $20. I don't, I don't really have a problem with that. But my problem is, is that we've had this big structure up here and this is like a typical A wave moving down. Now we could just go one, two, three, four, five and continue to push up. That's always possible. Um, but I'm just saying, generally speaking, that we need to do a little bit more. I mean, I said I would do some work on this and I'm doing it. I'm just sharing bits and bobs of it as I go along. Um, but this move here, you know, after a, after a big move, uh, you start getting a correct. So this first spike here, right? 
is a bit like this first spike over here and then the market really struggles to push up and makes another high. So we could push up and make another high, but all I'm saying is that I do believe that we need some sort of correction here. Now it doesn't need to be as big as this because this accumulation process across here, you know, when you look at the, the accumulation process, if you understand Wyckoff's work here, that would be the accumulation process. And then you would square that, that time with price here so i can still see that this needs to go up further i don't have a problem with that you know what i mean <clears throat> but um i think it's a little bit trappy in here so we'll have to be a little bit careful so we've been looking at um ake which is another one it's the same same sort of thing and pls which is another one looks like it wants to uh go higher this one here will go higher it will go up here further like you see we've got one two three four so it's going to go a bit high but then it's going to pull back on you and this one here is i'm i'm, I'm interested in the ones that have corrected that's what that they're the one i like a correction myself and somebody mentioned uh peter mentioned uh this one here cxo uh, uh looks kind of interesting as well um it's still at the uh dollar mark and the dollar 50 here so we'll need to um do some work on that here dollar is i just put that in orange and um okay i'm going to leave it at that at the moment i just wanted to share the bigger picture and in, in that we'll get that going um we'll, you know we'll keep working on that and developing the wave structures and so on. Um, if there's another rare metal out there that um, folks are looking at, can you uh, share that with us? And um, we can sort of just keep an eye on some of these. Um, okay, over to the gold here. Obviously the US markets were closed last night, so um, no need to really go back over GDX. Uh, the US spot gold here, very low volume. If we were looking at this on a bearish note, we'd have to look at this as wave one here and two here. Wave three, still a little bit small, so I don't know if we need to put wave four there just yet, but it'd probably be this wave four here, or one of them anyway, I'll, I'll need to get to that, but we still need to be down here for, um, for, for, for this to finish off, I think. Uh, but that's here nor there, we're not trading that. Um, if you're short in Newcrest here, we're looking for a, for a bounce. So the 38.2% retracement level is, <clears throat> is back up at um, about there where that is. So that's, that can move up there further before coming down. So just be mindful about that. Um, yeah, so, but still, anyway, um, still got another leg to come down. And uh, I still need to pull that apart a little bit. I'm just wondering if we need to put wave three over here for that, but I'll do some work on that. And um, the US dollar index is pushing up nice. I have rearranged this a little bit, but I still need to ponder it a little bit further. I'm not really sure about this particular move that came down here, how to do, do this, but from wave four here, definitely wave one and two. And then I was looking at one, two, and then one, two, three, four, five, the third, fourth, and fifth here for this third. This will give this third here a little bit more sort of leg room, you know, and then the fourth and the fifth. But I'll need to compare that to the power of the cable and um, and the euro and so on. The cable's probably following this best at this stage. Um, but the point being is that this market is moving higher. So there's going to be still more pressure on the other markets. So for the Aussie and so on here. And if we've got the Aussie moving in line with the S and this market, if we've got the US dollar moving up, this market can move down. If we've got commodities moving down, that's also helpful for this. And if we've also got the S&P 500 moving down as well, which we have, then this low should be triggered at this point. You know, it is possible, I guess, to look at this as one and two here and three. No, I can't do that. Three, four, five. Have the low in place here. Mm, no. Anyway, you still look to short this low coming in through here for that. Um, right, that's it. Alrighty, thanks for tuning in. Uh, I'll leave it at that. Cheers.